I'm Georgia and this is The Sound of Georgia. We're back to Hamilton today and today I'm going to be talking about everybody's favourite Skylar sister, Aunt Peggy, and where exactly she was during Act 2. I made a video a while back where I posed the question, is Peggy and Meg Jiri from Phantom pointless? Are they pointless characters? And the answer is no, they're not. But I still felt I was a bit hard on them. And I feel guilty about Peggy. Not Meg so much, but I like Peggy a whole lot more. But the reason I want to ask where she is in Act 2 is because I think it's a really interesting situation with her. So for all the newbies here, if you didn't know, Hamilton does a lot of double casting. Over the course of the show there are eight characters that are played by four actors. So the actor plays one role in the first act and the second role in Act 2. And as for those roles, they are paired like this. Lafayette becomes Jefferson, Lawrence becomes Philip, Hercules Mulligan! I'm sorry, I can't say it any other way. He becomes James Madison, and Peggy becomes Mariah Reynolds. The reason it kind of works is because there are a lot of people in Alexander's life who were very important to his life during the war, who completely disappeared after the war only to be replaced by a whole set of new people. And that is essentially what happens. So with that out of the way, let's cover what happened to all the Act 1 characters in Act 2. Lafayette's in big trouble, we know that. Jefferson calls Alexander out for not helping Lafayette, and Alex assures him that it's all good, Lafayette will be fine. It's never explicitly mentioned what happens, but we know he's in trouble. And I can't remember all the exact specifics, but in reality, he ended up in jail for a while. They threw him in jail. Lawrence is dead. I honestly don't remember when I first found out when Lawrence died. Maybe it was only when I got around to reading The Revolution. Because if you haven't seen the show, like me, all you've got is the album. And as far as the album goes, it's not specifically mentioned that Lawrence is dead until World was wide enough. I don't know when I first worked out when Lawrence had died. But either way, by the time Act 2 rolls around, he's dead. And as far as I am aware, again, I haven't seen the show, Hercules Mulligan is never mentioned again. And at first glance, it seems like that's exactly the case with Peggy. But is it? Out of all the, out of all the eight double cast roles, Peggy is definitely the one with the least impact on the story, on Alexander's life, and I think that's part of the reason she comes across as, well, pointless to the uninitiated. Hence the reason I made the video. Originally that video was just going to be about Meg. She doesn't seem to be around as much as the other Act 1 double cast members. It seems like she's not mentioned again, but I think she is. It's very subtle, but I think she is mentioned again. So to work out this specifically, we obviously have to go to history. Specifically, when she died. She died in March of 1801. It's a footnote in the Revolution where Lynn says, she married rich and died young, in case you're wondering where she is in Act 2. She was 42 when she died. I wouldn't call that young young, but it's definitely not old. But anyway. Age is kind of irrelevant. The only thing that we need to take into account is that she died in March of 1801. Now, does the show show us any of 1801? Does the show show ha ha ha? And honestly, I don't have an answer to this. I don't know whether your obedient servant is meant to take place across the four years between the election of 1800 and the duel, like non-stop covered several years or if it's just meant to be all in 1804, and we just skip those years in the middle. I, yeah, I honestly don't know for that. Let me know what you always thought about that. It doesn't really matter for this video though, because either way, we don't really get to see anything in 1801. Though she dies in 1801, we don't really follow the show much further than that, not counting Who Lives, Who Dies, Who Tells Your Story, which is essentially an epilogue and everybody except Eliza is dead at that point. So that should be it. Well, no. She died in 1801, at the beginning of 1801. But somebody else died in 1801. Philip. 
Peggy died in March and Philip died in November, both in 1801. But of course in the show the song about coping with the loss of your child ends with Jefferson announcing can we get back to politics and we learn that it's the election of 1800. So in the Hamilton musical universe Philip dies in 1800. Lynn pushed up the death date to make it flow better. I know you're wondering how this has anything to do with Peggy. Hold your horses, I'm getting there. So in reality Philip died a few months after Peggy. Now in terms of the musical what if that was the same? What if her death date was moved up as well so it's historically accurate in the fact that she dies before Philip? Now before I'm about to prove this, this isn't really that much of a theory video, I'm going to say I did not even think of looking at it this way. I didn't interpret this as having anything to do with Peggy until I read a post on my Hamilton fan Facebook group. There's that line in Blow a Soul Away. Alex is telling Philip what to do during the duel and he says your mother can't take another heartbreak. And then when Eliza appears in State Live Reprise she's wearing black. Could she be mourning the death of her sister? I always thought the line was talking about the aftermath of the affair even though in musical verse it's been three years. I didn't even consider that it might be Peggy. And when I read that Facebook post a few months back I had known when Peggy died for a long time. Peggy dying a few months before Philip was something I already knew. Now I'm sure when you're watching the show Peggy has a bigger role than you might think just from listening to the album. I have to wait until next year to test that but I reckon that's the case. And I feel like her absence in Act 2 might be just as important to her character as her presence in the first act. Again more than the other double casting roles. There is a pause after Angelica and Eliza say hello to each other and take a break. So is that line in Blow Us All The Way talking about Peggy? Let me know what you think. As I said I didn't even look at it this way until very recently. I always thought it was the affair and it made complete sense that it was the affair. I didn't feel like I was missing something but let me know what you think. And I think for me personally now in the musical canon where there are no Skylar brothers and Angelica was single and Philip died a year earlier and all that, that yes Peggy died in 1800 a few months before Philip matching history in that she did die a few months before Philip. Just not the correct year. That's not quite the same case for my fanfiction headcanon. In one of my stories I did mention how she died and I did make it historically accurate meaning she died a few months after Philip because I kept Philip's death date to what it was in the show. But my fanfiction headcanon also has the other Skylar sibling so that line in Satisfied doesn't matter and Alex is also born in 1757 and I made a whole video about how in the show he's most likely born in 1755. Click the card. So it appears my musical Hamilton headcanon is different to my fanfiction Hamilton headcanon. What can you do? That's just about everything I've got for you today guys. Mostly I just wanted to talk about this because I thought it was really interesting. If you believe everything I've tried to say in this video Yes, she is mentioned in Act 2, but very subtly and only if you know what you're looking for. And I think a whole new layer of interest and brilliance is added because of how it lines up against the musical altered timeline. Oh, I love this musical so much. They've announced when tickets are going on sale for the Australian production, so if there isn't a video the week of the 5th of May, you know why. Because I'll be sitting at my computer passionately smashing the refresh button until I get tickets. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything in today's video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my video next week. So long for a while!